Well, here in Oregon, we love our azaleas in the springtime. They are so beautiful. We are so lucky to have them. But we're going to talk today about a special reblooming azalea called Encore Azalea. And I'm with Janet. And Janet, thank you so much for meeting with us. And you work for such a great company. Who do you work for and what is your position? Well, the company I work for is actually called Plant Development Services. And we have uh, the Encore Azalea line that we actually work on. We have our own breeding company in-house. In but we also are the licensees for Southern Living and Sunset Western Garden Collection. So I also manage those programs. That is so neat. And so tell us a little bit about Encore. They've been in our market for a few years now, and some people may not know about them. So tell us a little history. Well, they've actually been around since the 80s. Uh, and the person who started those, his name is Buddy Lee, and he's in Louisiana. And he was an ER nurse and was working the night shift and was doing nursery business during the daytime and loved azaleas. Azaleas are the just prized plant in the Southeast. And everybody was a little bit disappointed in just the short bloom period. So Buddy was traveling around the world and he found some azaleas in Thailand that were blooming in the summertime. And he thought that was interesting. So he brought seeds back and started a hybridization program. And he came up with the Encore azalea. So they actually are cross between uh, Southern Indica azalea, excuse me, and uh, the Thai, Thai reblooming azaleas. That is really interesting. And it, I didn't realize it was such a long time in breeding. So uh, I understand that there is so many, but for the Northwest, we really have some special, special varieties here. We did. About 10 years ago, we started focusing on the West Coast market a little bit more. Uh, there are 48 varieties, but we've selected the best six for the West Coast and the Pacific Northwest. And we've partnered with local nurseries there. So they trialed all of the different varieties and we brought some different ones out because Buddy plants about 30,000 seedlings every year. So we are doing all the different uh, testing on those on how they do here and rebloom here. So an azalea that was on the market 20 years ago for Encore is completely different than the varieties that we have now. They're all newer selections. They're a little bit more compact. They are they're, um, blooming better for us on the West Coast. And they also have improved resistance for lace bugs. Whoa, nice. Wow, yeah. that is really great for us. And so they are a little special and there's a little bit different kind of uh, planting instructions for those? Definitely. So because they have the Southern Indica roots, they require more sun than the typical azalea. So we tend to think of azaleas as shade plants, but these will actually do better with six to eight hours of direct sun. We prefer that in the morning or evening. That hot, hot afternoon sun that we get can be a little bit harsh for them. But a filtered situation, if you have a higher tree, then you can plant under, under that, or if they can get that in the morning and later afternoon. But if they don't get that six to eight hours, they will not bloom as well for you. Uh, and then what about pruning? Is there a, a special time to prune them? So these are more compact varieties, and we would recommend that they not be pruned in the garden. If you do have to prune them, prune them a little bit right after the first spring bloom. You'll have a big spring flush, and as soon as that is done, prune them. Because if, if you wait any longer, you're actually pruning off your buds, and then you will not get as good of a rebloom for the summer and the fall. Because these will bloom sporadically in the summer. You're going to get that big spring flush, and then it'll uh, continue to throw some flowers for you through the, through the summer months, and then you'll get another flush in the fall. But if you do any pruning on them, you will be cutting off your bud. Uh, and then that's what we want. I mean, and that's why they call yeah. them Encore, because they do exactly. that. They keep blooming. Right. That is great. And then um, any other tips that we should know about? You know, they're really pretty easy plants. Uh, I've been surprised. I'm, you know, in California here with, with our heat, how well they've done all the way down in Southern California. So they do take that heat very well. In the summertime, they do need some additional water. They're not drought tolerant plants. Uh, azaleas and rhododendrons do require, you know, especially in the hotter times, probably a weekly or, or biweekly irrigation. But they're lower water than a lot of other types of azaleas, and they're really, really tough in the landscape. Uh, well, that is all such great information. It's like, it, you know, this spring, everybody is so starved for new plants and color. So it's really going to be something that we're going to look 
for in our gardens. So really go out to your independent garden centers, give them a buzz and see if they have them in and make sure you get that Encore Azalea this year. So go to gardentime.tv and we can click you over for more information about Encore Azaleas. Janet, thank you so much for all the information. It's been great. Thanks for having me. Great.